Saturday morning cartoons. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what's everybody eating for cereal this morning? What's everybody? Anybody I'm, have anything good? I'm eating a goddamn banana because I'm still recovering from Mexico. And by the way, right. I got to say, it's a it's a fantastic <laughs> trip. Nothing but good things to say about it. But this this the last few days of um, what I've been going through. So Nick, what do you what do you have for cereal today? I got I got Apple Jacks. I went with a classic. I just thought I don't like the little cinnamon guy logo. Uh, that guy kind of annoys me, but uh, actually both mascots annoy me. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so I went with Apple Jacks. Of course, the cereal that tastes nothing like apples. Yep. Mm. And, and Professor McGurk, what do you have today? Yes. So uh, knowing what we'd be watching today, I actually uh, found this. <laughs> frosted flakes uh with cinnamon what is this? i can't read backwards with crispy cinnamon basketballs no way was, that doesn't exist I, I was this looking exists for it's that. brand new and it's actually like a reasonably sized box there's a really nice like a uh, couple of anecdotes from Shaq on the back wow. i love it very, okay. very fitting and it looks uh it looks totally disgusting <laughs> like if you can see the uh the cinnamon basketballs. The cinnamon basketballs. They just look like um, <laughs> exactly like, like basketballs. Like half digested cheese balls. Oh, okay. cheese balls yeah, that like yeah. got in a pool and then uh-huh. were left out in the sun after. Yeah, it looks wet. like a, a dehydrated of, meal that like yeah. you add water and put in a microwave. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of half digested, I heard you bring that up. Uh, the reason I'm eating this banana, I didn't get a chance to tell you why, is because it it's a binder. It binds. Okay, so, so the cereal I have, have, yeah, got, I have, I'm eating a, a a box of Lucky Charms from 1970 that uh, comes with a um, a Harlem Globetrotters whistle uh, inside. Very and nice. the reason I'm doing that is because uh, today we're going to be watching Super Globetrotters. This is uh, a cartoon that has it all, and this episode has it all. We've got a history lesson, a merchandising extravaganza, a game show, and of course, a truly terrible cartoon. But let's start off with an early 80s commercial for the Harlem Globetrotters traveling exhibition shows. I remember this vividly because it mixes live action with very stylized animation. Let's see if uh, you guys remember this at all. But when we come back, I'll tell you more about my banana. Some things are as good as they used to be. Take your family to see the Harlem Globetrotters Friday, April 8th at Holman Civic University Center in Terre Haute. Tickets on sale at the center box office, the Great Scott Stores, Magnellan Sports, and other out-of-town outlets. All the fun you remember with the Harlem Globetrotters Friday, April 8th at Holman Civic University Center. Some things are as good as they used to be. Some things are even better. Now that, that like... Sh- suggests that the cartoon we'll be watching will have great animation the animation's okay <laughs> but it's not that uh so that was really cool animation actually it, it kind of awesome. reminded me of uh, jimmy walker's paintings from good yes. times you know kind of yeah. had that black velvet style and yeah. we, i remember that too and we went to see the globetrotters at the um madison coliseum when i was a kid and i loved it so much it was like i was just laughing when they take the bucket and you know they have water, and then later they have confetti, and they dump it on the audience. That that gag. And the that water- was probably at that same Coliseum, like when you were there too, because we we went to it every single time they they came to the Madison Coliseum, and it yeah, was just it- laughs. They just they had that crowd by the in the palm of their hand. And it- I yeah, and I remember Curly did this thing in the first time I saw him where he stuffed the basketball under the Washington Generals players. Um, jersey and then the guy got called for traveling by the by the ref and i thought that was so funny that the next time (laughs) i went to see them as soon as he did that i went traveling 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 and curly came up and gave me a like slap me five kind of thing what i didn't hear this story 
And uh, it was one of those things where I'm not even making, I told my parents I'm not washing that my hand. So I <laughs> touched greatness with curly. <laughs> Well, well, I'll, first, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you guys what yeah. I'm washing my hands a lot. And okay, the reason so I first <laughs> learned about the Harlem Globetrotters from uh, reruns of Scooby Doo. I think a lot of people probably did. Um, these were actually crossovers with Hanna Barbera's first Harlem Globetrotters cartoon, which started in 1970. Um, it ran for 22 episodes over two seasons. And I love was, their hands. Aren't their hands great? They are great. Just, um, yeah. But this was a groundbreaking cartoon because until um, 1969, there were no black animated characters on Saturday morning cartoons that weren't outrageous stereotypes. And the Harlem Globetrotters were part of the first wave of positive black characters in animation, which included uh, Valerie from Josie and the Pussycats and Peter Jones in the Hardy Boys cartoon, which I didn't even know existed. Hmm. Um, You might need to watch that one. Yes, and in 1979, Hanna Barbera produced this second series, uh, the Super Globe Trotters, in which they, you guessed it, got superpowers. It ran for one season of what? 13 episodes. Spaghetti um, Man. <laughs> <laughs> and the 70s may have been the pop culture heyday of the Globe Trotters. Here they are in 1974 with Gerald Ford at the White House, but they were always popular. I had no idea that they started in Chicago. Wait a second, just, Nick. Nick, that was that was Curly, the one before, right? Yep. Yep. That, that hand right there high fived you, right? Yep, that's the one. So wow. you've touched Gerald Ford by the transitive <laughs> property of, of high fiving. Yes, I have. I've touched okay. Gerald Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, so, did you ever see the Globe Trotters? <laughs> Got a mouthful of basketballs. Diamond. Oh yeah, yeah. rubbery. Um, <laughs> yes. But I barely remember it, but I went when I was a kid to uh, Nassau Coliseum since I grew up, grew up on Long Island and, um, and saw them there. Did you high five any of them? I did not. I don't remember okay. touching any of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did you touch Gerald Ford? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so the Harlem Globetrotters started in Chicago in 1920 as just the Globetrotters, but their manager added Harlem to their name so that booking agents and audiences in all white towns would not be expecting a white team. And in addition to being trick shot artists and master entertainers, they've always been exceptional players. Uh, Wilt Chamberlain famously played for them at one point. Um, And in 1948, uh, their win against the Minnesota Lakers, then considered to be the best in the sport, was a factor in desegregating basketball soon after. Now, none of the actual players provided their own voices in the cartoon series, but two names jump out from the cast list. You've got uh, Nate Branch was voiced by Scatman Crothers, who had a long and illustrious career in entertainment, but is probably best known for The Shining. Hell yeah. And of course, the inevitable Frank Welker, Mm. the omnipresent voice actor who played the Crime Globe, a talking satellite (laughs) that looks like a basketball. No way. That exists. And does he go with more of a squeaky? Does he do like a... You'll see. Okay. Actually, you'll hear. (laughs) Yes. I'm so glad he's not playing one of the globe Yes, riders. that was my first worry. concern. Yeah. yeah. Do they have um, a I feel like they should have a dog or some sort of like a, you know. They did in the that? first episode in oh, the first series, but not in the not okay. in this series. But as far as merchandising goes, over the years they had pe- pennants, comic books, trading cards, lunch boxes, candy, dolls, coloring books, yo-yos, lamps, <laughs> movies, record albums, cereal giveaways, Handheld electronic games, board games, tabletop games, Nintendo games, pinball games, and a trip to Gilligan's Island. Oh, yes. That's right. I want that pinball game so badly. Uh, no. They oh, have man. it at, um, well, they had it the last time I was at a bar on um, uh, Fifth Avenue in Park Slope. So okay. next time you're at the office, you I can go head over. Yeah, and, play. and I- and I mentioned this, but I actually watched this cartoon with my sister growing up, but it must not have been in its original airing. I'm guessing it was on the USA Cartoon Network Express or one of those things that, it, or maybe they just put it on as fillers. But this uh, Hanna-Barbera released it on DVD, so all 13 episodes are on here. Curious right. to see which one you picked up, George. Well, uh, uh, hmm. as for the Super Globe Trotters, it has a laugh track. And that's never a good sign. Uh, and I have to say, it's even worse than that. Um, I got to say, I love laugh tracks in cartoons. It helps you It helps you know when to laugh. Because well, a lot this, of these cartoons are so bad, you don't know when to laugh. Yeah, this, this one unfolds like a fever dream. That it, There's like an, 
and it's a nightmare with an occasional wisp of logic that prevents you from just uh, stopping from paying attention at all. And it is the longest 22 minutes of your life. So let's begin <laughs> Super Globe Trotters with what is arguably one of the most disappointing opening credits of, of any cartoon. You know, all this talk about trotting has me. Uh, right, here we go. I need to cartoon. do a little trotting of my own let's just here. Watch the cartoon. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's not even Sweet Georgia Brown. Nope. <laughs> it couldn't license it. It's a sound alike. Those aren't really basketball sounds either. Crime Globe. There he is. <laughs> That's. Is that all he says? No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hell's going on here <laughs> this might be the best one so far <laughs> cool villains I like that a lot alright <laughs> face left. An unidentified rocket approaches Earth as a planetary plot of evil is about to unfold. Zero in over there. Yes, that's my target. On planet Earth, I shall steal the faces of the world leaders and put them on my demon droids. Through them, I shall control the entire planet. Who's he telling this to? But that's impossible. You can't that steal guy? somebody's face. Thinking out loud. Oh, you, aren't you? Nothing's impossible for me. I, foolish one, am the facelift. Those kind of look like uh, the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> and I yeah, put your so face on one of my androids. I already Take over the controls. don't know what's happening. <laughs> face off. And Steady on course. He can yes. switch the faces. Dead ahead. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Peter, as you command. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., a world-famous Globetrotters are arriving for I a love whenever there's a meanwhile the narrator. <laughs> I think that must be the Justice League guy. The White House. Yeah. No, that's Ted Knight, I think. This is, is somebody else, yeah. Shape no, this men, is... we're here. Sign, trying to sound like Ted. Yeah. <clears throat> Come right in, gentlemen. The Secretary of State is waiting for you in the receiving line. Curly Neal. It's indeed an honor. Nate Branch, Mr. Secretary. Twiggy, sir. Lou Dunbar, sir. He's Osby, sir, with compliments from the Super Globetrotter. Thank you, please. Now, if you'll permit me to greet my other guests, we can begin the exhibition. Back of his right on, Brother Secretary. In the meantime, we'll change. Mr. Secretary? Excuse me, but I can't quite remember the face. Mr. J, the ambassador from Republica, and my assistant, and Already a lot of plot. How kind of you to invite <laughs> us, sir. So what's going on here? So uh, as the sinister face androids starts are making his anime. diabolical moves, the Globetrotters are making their fantastic moves with the basketball as they warm up in the with halls the of history of the White House. <laughs> this show needs a narrator. <laughs> Kayla, do you think you could spin a cinnamon basketball on your finger? On your pinky finger. I can certainly try. Yeah. <laughs> Studio audience really likes this. That's well, Sheriff, I've ever heard him. Now dig this. Now dig this. Orbiting in deep space, the Globetrotter's crime globe has spotted the facelift's sneaky scheme. The crime globe? And is quick to sound the alarm. Okay, guys. What the hell is going on? So they're in the White House? Yeah. In the White House locker room? It's the crime globe. Man, that Nixon had to put in. Us anywhere. Next to the what a time alley. to get yeah. an assignment. The diabolical facelift, a nuclear-created person running on electronic energy, <laughs> has invaded the planet Earth. 
Wow. What, what am I looking at here? His plan is to steal the faces <laughs> of lamp. the world leaders it's and put them globe. on his demon droids. Gotcha. Uh, nasty. Alert. World leaders. Repeat. The globe trotters Alert. look concerned. World leaders. <laughs> Over and out. Come on, guys. We got to tell the man. A scat man hey, is also the voice of a uh, Hong Kong Fu, I believe. Correct. Great what do you voice. mean, such a secretary? Because he wanted to warn you and the president about the facelift. And the Jazz facelift. from the Transformers. Who's that? Oh. He's an evil dude who wants to replace you with an evil droid. Yeah, by stealing your face and putting it on one of them. Thank you for warning us. I'll place the capital on immediate security alert. Ah, you cooking? Under the circumstances, I don't have any questions about that. <laughs> no problem, Mr. Secretary. We'll be out as soon as we're dressed. Thank you, Globetrotters. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Secretary. Goodbye, Globetrotters. Uh oh. It feels like we're 20 minutes in, Alpha right? Yeah. Alpha Droid yeah. 1 to facelift. Alpha like Droid 1 to facelift. What was the art I missed? I have it. done as you commanded and gotten Just rid of the world. Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> this actually looks. A, this is similar to the uh, plot of Naked mm. Gun. Too, oh yeah, where yes. they get Reggie Jackson to. Uh, is mm. that a Matisse? That's Matisse, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> Early, yeah. Alpha <laughs> Droid One to facelift. Alpha Droid One to facelift. I have done as you commanded and gotten rid of the Globetrotters. You've done well, Android. Stand by for orders. Only just Nick, does he kind of look like Davy Rothbard a little bit? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see that. Plus, it's a basketball-related cartoon. Davy from Found Magazine loves basketball. Yeah, don't tell Davy I said that. Okay. Yeah. We're not gonna find the facelift in this weather. Then we'll just have to get above it. Hey, Nate, that's a super idea. Stop the bus. Ooh now that's a fast break. Ready, guys? They spared no sound effects in this. No. <laughs> Or basketball pun. Where did they find the lockers? Super Globe Cutters! Where were the lockers out in the middle of that rain soaked? Oh, look at the spaghetti man! <laughs> I love the spaghetti what? man! Yeah, you think that the spaghetti man character was anyone's first cartoon crush? I believe it. That facelift cat better get ready for a loss of face. Right on! Oh, they think they can stop me, do they? Dribbling do-gutters. Those basketball Dribbling bouncing superheroes <laughs> are no match for the faceless. That's a two-word challenge. Not when I possess <laughs> the only substance in existence capable of destroying them. Globetron. <laughs> <laughs> and as the super globetrotters search for faces, oh, the van flies. Little did they know that his nefarious master plan included them. In Moscow, Facelift stalked his do, second do, do, victim. Do, do. Will that be all, Mr. Premier? Yes, Boris. I will call you in the morning. As you wish, Mr. Premier. Who? Who are you? What do you want? I am the Facelift, and I want your face. <laughs> Mr. Premier, are you alive? Mr. Premier, are you there, sir? Oh, excuse me, will sir. become I John Travolta, and John Travolta will become I Nicholas Cage. I fine, Boris. Thank you. I will call well, you Gorbachev. in the morning. Yes, sir, Mr. Premier, as you say. Swiss Alps. Everybody I out. guess part of their globe trotting is that they go all around the globe. Russia. If my calculations are correct, We'd better warn Monsieur Heinrich about facelift. As president of the World Swiss Bank, he sure would be a likely target. Sweet Louis, when were your calculations ever correct? Ever since I started doing them in my head. <laughs> the problem is that Heinrich's private chalet I, uh, is down there. I touched that uh, human basketball's hand. <laughs> That's no problem as long as spaghetti man's along. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How do you say stop and swift? I didn't know you could ski, Twiggy. Yeah, skiing's easy. Stopping's the hard part. Hey, Twiggy. Kind of like you a see that man? Drip there? Yeah. That's the thumbnail yeah. right there. Uh -huh. Why spaghetti? Just like. Guess he didn't see it. <laughs> That's about it, Monsieur Heinrich. That's quite a tale. I hope they go to Italy and someone tries to Mr. eat them. Incredible. It's the last episode. Truth, sir. 
We want to do one, you said we believe. It's actually a very touchy and sad <laughs> episode. Yeah, you might say, I'll we're trying day. to help you save your face. <laughs> Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough. Oh, it's nothing any self-respecting superhero wouldn't do. Now, if you excuse us, Manzo Heinrich, we've got to get going. But you just arrived. There's a sheik in Saudi Arabia who owns 90% of the world's oil. If the facelift gets one of his demon droids in control there, it'll be more than a loss The recording face. seems pretty you echoey. Say, gentlemen, you know, like, they were in the again. best studio. Come on, you guys! Yeah. It's time to fly! I think they did it over Zoom. Go, 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 <laughs> Trotters! I love with the spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> Next stop! Saudi Arabia! I'm Ridiculous. Alpha Droid 3 to facelift. Alpha Droid 3 to facelift. I think the Spaghetti Alpha Man leader. might be my favorite, my favorite superhero of all time. <laughs> I think he might be. I still don't know exactly what his superpower is. You the saw, George, you saw him skiing down. Batman. Yeah. There's a Spaghetti Globetrotter. All right. <laughs> well, you needed one because I have Ziggy and Nick has Alf and George yeah. has Batman. So you have the Spaghetti Man. That's I have great. Spaghetti I'm Man now. Yes, I, I think I'm a little it. too mainstream. I'm gonna have to I have to find something else. Maybe I'm I'll going... go with uh, with Glomer from. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Dur Hunky during Brewster. the second during the yeah. second half, I'm going to look for a Spaghetti Man T-shirt. Do you think it exists or no? I'm gonna say too obscure, but it'd be a good tattoo. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure there's a there, there's I would a love a sweatshirt. Yeah, there, there's a T-shirt with all of them, but just Spaghetti Man. I don't know. OK, well, uh, we'll uh, see. maybe the found footage festival store is the place. to make that <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Well, here are some. Uh, I think it's time for some commercials. Yeah, great. So here are some commercials that feature um, everything from the Globetrotters hawking different products to kids basketball toys. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. Five great players, the Harlem Globetrotters introduce another winning team, the Quintet, the new portable component system from JVC. A metal tape cassette deck, a powerful amplifier, four band tuner, and two full range bass reflex stereo speakers. And when you're ready to hit the road, the JVC Quintet snaps together so you can carry it anywhere. The Quintet from JVC. Five great performers that play perfectly yeah. together. It's nerd basketball with a team or one on one. It's nerd basketball. Hooking, like dribbling, all the moves. It's sidetrack for kids to use. It's nerd basketball. You can't grip it as you go for a layup or free throw. Sure thing. Try to make it with nerd basketball. Also sold separately, Nerf Hoop, Nerf Ball, and Super Nerf. Always had those Nerf those basketball the from Parker Brothers. They're not regulation, though. They're not regulation, no. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we challenged hotshot Jimmy Powell to play the new Mattel Electronics basketball game. Jimmy doesn't know. Inside is a tiny thinking computer that plays like a whole team of pros. That's All right! All right! Jimmy's got the ball. The computer defends like the ball. The he fakes left, dribbles right, <laughs> shoots. Yellow oh. uniforms? Now, the clock's running. He breaks inside. Paul scores. Yes! New Mattel Electronics Pocket Basketball with the built-in computer. Hey, who's in there? Those were never that fun. Now, the excitement things. of real arcade basketball is yours in electronic hot shot basketball. Challenge yourself or an opponent in one of two this, dynamite this games. Like, like who can bury the most in six this. seconds? 55 points. Beat that, Hot Shot. Hot Shot is the only game with a motorized moving backboard. Yeah. Jumper off the rim. There's electronic yeah. game sounds and digital scoreboard. Time's running out. Three-pointer at the buzzer. Yes. Milton Bradley's electronic <laughs> Hot Shot basketball. When you're hot, you're hot. In the 1990s, Bill Lambeer was basketball's meanest player. Yes. Now it's all played mean. Bill, what do you say? I say we'll thrash him. Get out of my face. It's the new Super NES one or two player game. Oh, we played Bill this with Mike Rucker. Combat basketball from Hudson yes, Song. That's no refs, no fouls. It's only one rule it. to win. Up to eight challenges. We played it for way too long with Mike Rucker. in league play. Get yours. Call 800-82-HUDSON, extension one for great tactics for Bill. Bill. combat basketball. Yeah. <laughs> now back to Saturday morning cartoons. Oh, right, uh, so, hey, are yeah. the Globetrotters still around? Do they? Yes. Uh, yeah, they, oh, they sure. still do it, huh? Have you, do you know what's their gimmick? Is, have they not changed the formula? Have they done anything new? Is there? Oh, they they uh, take the basketball and they do like tricks with it. 
and then and then they make baskets. Okay, that, spins and such. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they make the other I, guys uh, travel. Yeah, yeah, my niece and nephew saw it. I think it's pretty much the same gimmicks. They still do the bucket of water gag, and I don't know if there's Classic. any new tricks though. Yeah. Did they like it? They loved it. They yeah. loved it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're uh, we're less than halfway through this episode, so. Uh, I mm-hmm. love it, George. I don't know okay. what you're talking about. All right. Like, I, me- I meant to say it's the best one we've shown so far. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and I'd like to point out that this background is actually from another episode of oh. uh, the uh, Super Globe Trotters cartoon. The backgrounds so, are really beautiful. It's like, yeah. it's really nice. And I yeah. like the narration, too. <clears throat> All right. So I've, I've changed my assessment. From his secret Arctic lair, the evil facelift continues his plans for plunder. Oh, they're heading for Saudi Arabia. Very well, Globe Trotters. This should be trotters. problematic. It's time for me <laughs> to do away with you once and for all. Either Every that's time. Saudi Arabia down there, or we're over the world's biggest beach. Saudi, Saudi Arabia? Stone. Was this thing that he mispronounced things? Oh, I think it was, yeah. The first thing we gotta do this is thing was find like high-fived kids. Bone. First thing we gotta do is find Curly. Hey, guys! Dig my new tweed. Real chic, Curly. Real chic. I told you it'd be problematic. <laughs> Here we are, guys. The tent of chic Ali Benghazi. That will be two chickens and a pig affinity. Uh, Sweet Lou. The least problematic yeah, episode that currency. you sent me, Nick. Have oh. no fear. Gizmo's here. <laughs> Man, that Lou is better than traveler's checks. So you see, Sheik, your life is in real danger. Not to mention your face. Oops. If that dude can replace you with one of them demon droids, then all the world's What's his power be under his snorkel? control. What do you think uh, he can of turn that, into Mr. Water. Sheik? That is very interesting, but I'm afraid that you're too late. That dude is here. Is it, is it Lotka? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Say hello to the real Sheik, though I'm afraid he's not quite himself. <laughs> mm-hmm. With my droids in the key positions of the world and the real leaders locked in my Arctic island, all power will be mine. Yeah, dude, except you forgot one thing. The Super Globe Trotter. Oh, but I haven't. In fact, I have brought you a gift. Globetron! Oh, no! And as the facelift disperses orders from his Arctic control center, the world's army's oil and wealth are being mobilized in a monster master plan. <laughs> nice evil laugh. Yeah. But across the planet, in an Arabian desert, the Globetrotters lie wasted. From the one substance capable of doing them oh, in. That's probably like the Globetron. bathroom after you. Uh, that mysterious uh, green uh, well, yeah, I'll, I have a funny story about that, actually. Oh, yeah. oh. Get in high concentration. Timely They'll cartoon. get to <laughs> render the Globetrotters helpless. <laughs> Peace is only a pair of boots. Sweet Lewis reduced to a shock of hair. Twiggy, a mere strand of spaghetti. <laughs> Curly Neal reduced to a pair of boots. Liquid Man Curly Nate, reduced a to a cinnamon basketball. The sand. No, <laughs> wait a minute. Nate's flowing right out of the tent and away from the globe trunk. Man, I've He's narrated as shoes, a habit. But this is too much. You didn't think well, wait a second. you could get rid of the super globe trotters that easy, did you? Now the action really gets intense. Yeah, Voila! Intense. Pull yourself together, men. Globe trotter is gone. Man, that's one solution that affects my constitution. There's no time to waste, What's guys. Curly's, uh, heading for the Arctic. power? He can bounce I got the around. Sheet. He, okay, he uh, guys, has a it. misshapen head. Go okay. Superheroes. Now what's Geese's oh, yeah. stuff out of his hair? Yes. Oh, what's the M guy oh, no. with the lightning? Now I know how a flying carpet feels. If he says <laughs> well, they can this all is fly, the only way to fly, so, I'm going to yeah. hit the e So that's something. But what, why don't they just fly everywhere? I had that question with Turbo Team, too. They're navigated a beeline course to the Arctic Circle, 80 degrees north. 42 degrees west, 70 degrees south, 50 degrees below, and getting colder. <laughs> Turn on the spaghetti. devices. We're going in for a landing. 
want to see how he uses his power. Next time, I'm going to bring my yeah. antifreeze. <laughs> hey, Twiggy, take the sheet for a while. Hey, fellas, that could be faceless control igloo over there. <laughs> Do we fly or walk? Hey, how about a dog sled? Hey, they're you bringing got it, it up. Baby. Should we fly or walk? No sooner said than done. Okay, zap. Hop on, gang. Mush, Curly! Mush! Mush? Hey, man, this ain't no time to be ordering breakfast, you flakes! This is Hang insane. On. This is <laughs> just bonkers. Mush? Is that a breakfast food? Get those dogs moving! I think it is. <laughs> Speaking of mush, I, uh... I uh, know, that's, uh... Attention, all droids. Attention, all droids. The Secretary and Premier will mobilize all military personnel. Monsieur Heinrich will cancel all loans. Sheikh Ali will ready all oil reserves. When I give the word, all power will be turned over to me. And I Bezos will did be this, the right? emperor yeah. of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> In the thumbnail, can you get rid of our faces, too? Sure. The alarm! Something's wrong! Facelift to security! What's going on? There's been a break in at the freezer. <laughs> how's he talking? A break yeah, in? Talk? By who? No, no, a super no, 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 no. slow trotters. I'll fix those super pests. Kind of got a Wario more. thing going. All droids report to the freezer bank. All droids report to the freezer bank. Without mouths, that's just one less line oh, wow, that I have to animate baby. every time. You ought to fit right in here. So this is what he's done with the world leaders. I love the way he I'm walks. I'm more concerned about what their replacements are planning on doing to the world. <laughs> I'm afraid it's too late. Yes, to we can see him fight. We should have all had spaghetti. Seize them. For Hate to stash you cereal. away like this, but I think it's time for a quick exit. This way, guys. Oh, that was the classic Hanna Barbera. <laughs> Wow, over there. What is that, sweet Lou? Just a minute, I'll check my encyclopedia. That's a hydronuclear the audience power like that. core. This they is haven't where laughed in a while. The yeah. This power comes from. And this is where they're going to come I forgot to. they were there. Stay away from that thing. You'll bring down the building. Not with the way we handle the ball. Catch, Kurt. Oh, oh, it's a ball, of course. If you hold that core still, it'll heat up and de-ionize. Really? Oh, take it, Lou. No this is actually what it. happened we'll to Chernobyl. <laughs> oh, no. The power core. This is what's called a fast break. See, sometimes he hops. Stop! Yeah. Stop! You're playing with disaster. I thought it was a ball. Dead end. To the audience. Yeah, Nothing. I find that that funny. Nope. And there's nowhere to go. Nowhere but up. Multi-man, multiply. Down, oh, that's right. He multiplies. Oh, multi-man. Down, down, Cool. Okay, okay. climb on up. Right on, geese. Seems like he has the best one. I yeah. thought you'd never get here. We need a song. Wouldn't you want to be a noodle? I got one here somewhere. <laughs> Everybody relax. And I'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Wow. Curly, a curly's just Fresh a ball. Yeah, that's <laughs> and a he real pulls sleds. With, the, oh, with facial hair. With facial hair, yeah. Hey, what do we do with this thermal thingamabob? Keep it moving. Hurry, geese. Here I come. How long do work. I spend this thing? <laughs> Man, we gotta cool this core before the face that cools us all. I'm with you. But Exposition. <laughs> there he is. Uh, Trapdoor in the, the ice. That guy's got right, everything. We'll Their them. first Quit ice trapdoor, I think. Ice <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Jesus. How would you even begin to explain this plot? <laughs> Again, one person wrote it, nobody questioned it. Yep. Let's get a team of people to draw this. <laughs> <laughs> it's another ball. Oh. Ugh. <sighs> 
Bird, maybe you watched too many of these. The <laughs> <novel> <laughs> wore off. Power core. Give it to me or my rays will Can we see what the spaghetti man does, please? Hey, that's oh, not what a turned toy. Into a... Toy. What, Caitlin? I just want more spaghetti man. Yeah. Exactly. I want to see what he does. He turned into a sweat, a toboggan. We gotta get that oh, he did. Hot turns into cool man. Give Curly a hand. Easy with that! Oh, oh, okay. oh, like cool. plastic man. I'm ruined! <laughs> Fake sweet Georgia Brown. So they're probably getting cancer on their nose right now, right? Well, well no. Making seal noises? Yeah, and he turned, turned into a seal. Stand, fellas. <laughs> hey, if Facelift wants the core so bad, toss it to me, and I'll holly hoop it into his ice pack. Hey, Facelift! Catch! No! No! Too late! Remember in the Shining when Scatman Crothers does the Bucks Bunny impression? Yeah. Maybe Man. that's what... What's up, Doc? Oh, man. It's one of my favorite scenes. Maybe he used his cartoon voice acting nice skills work, during that part. That nuclear nuisance is no more. <laughs> Everyone is back to R R R R normal. You mean that's all that's left of facelift? That's right. He never was real, folks. When the hydronuclear core the ionize, so did the facelift and his powers. Man, he's gone. I love, Real I love gone. picturing Scatman Crothers like reading the script <laughs> into the <laughs> microphone. Crothers, save the free world. The ionized with the... <laughs> Your bravery in handling that core is unmatched in human annals. Is there any way I can thank you? It's still you? a seal. <laughs> you might toss him a My sardine, sister and I would have laughed at that part. <laughs> is that the president? Yeah. And so the world saving super glow trotters meet it's a special guest team in their White House <laughs> command performance. It's a huge Sharpie. Hey, Curly, what's with the bucket? This is a bucket full of strategy. Strategy? It looks like a lot of fish. Precisely. Against a stack defense like that, you gotta have strategy. <laughs> I bet Walker's doing the seals. Definitely. Two point. Hey, but is that legal? Must be. It got the seal of approval. The producers were like, hey, Frank, could you stay after a little bit? Would you mind doing the seals for us? Oh, no. And so we leave our fun loving Super Globe Trotters until next time. <laughs> When the Crime Globe detects another dastardly deed, and we hear that superhero call... Super Globe Trotters! You know, George, I'm starting to come around to your side now. <laughs> that second half. Uh, not me. That <laughs> flew by. <laughs> I, I loved it. Oh, that was hard to watch. Worth it for you now. Yep. Yeah, I like the first half better than the second half. The novelty wore off? The novelty wore off, yeah. I think this only needed to... Oh, yes. I like that. That should be a t-shirt right there. <laughs> wow. Um, well, I have bad news and good news. The bad news is there's no Spaghetti Man shirt. The good news is there are lots of Super Globe Trotter <laughs> shirts out there. So everything's going to be okay. I might just like Photoshop out everybody else and just leave Spaghetti Man on there and then order it that way. So. I just, uh, yeah, I found this too on uh, eBay. You could get an original an, uh, an animation cell and you could, you know, there's, it's not colored, but there's Spaghetti Man right there. So oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of dollars. Him. $48. It's part of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, thumbs right, up so, for me. Yeah, generally so, thumbs up for me. Yeah. yeah, I liked it. Well, all right. So this cartoon, like many others, features the work of voice actor Frank Welker. And that means it's time once again for the Saturday morning cartoons game show. Who's Welker? Goody. We got Fred. All right, so this cartoon, like many others, uh, uh, you know, I already said that. Um, <laughs> so before we get started, let's review some of Frank Welker's most famous cartoon voices. We must suck this planet Earth dry. Well, just don't do what a stranger says. Let's split up and search for this ape man who eats hamburgers. Dig this. I've got an epic assignment 
for you dribbling dudes. Okay, so last time you had to identify which cartoon characters were voiced by Frank Welker. This time's a little different. Uh, so we're going to go to May 17th, 1978, when TV viewers tuned into the Dean Martin celebrity roast of George Burns and saw the following. Ladies and gentlemen, please greet a wonderful impressionist, Frank Welker. Wow. Hmm. All right. Oh, Dino's so drunk right there. So before the gathered celebrities, a young Frank Welker did a series of impersonations. Now, using your accumulated knowledge over the course of this series of the cartoon voices he's done, tell me which four of the following celebrities does he impersonate? Is it Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, Henry Kissinger, Jimmy Stewart, Orson Welles, Walter Cronkite, Muhammad Ali, or Dom DeLuise? I'm definitely going to put in for Muhammad Ali. I know he's going to do Muhammad Ali. Okay. Uh, well, Dom DeLuise is probably there. Would he do him? I think he's going to do Cronkite. Caitlin, do you have a one you want to weigh in with? Um, I'll go with uh, Jimmy Stewart. I'd like because I'd like to hear him do a Jimmy Stewart. Okay. I'd li- I'd like to add Ronald Reagan in there. I think Ronald Reagan is going to be the fourth one. Yeah, um, the, the fourth, uh, the fourth impersonation. Yep. Okay. Well, so the other part of this is uh, four of the people listed are also in the room. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so. Name, identify four people who who are there. Now, Nick, you said you think Dom DeLuise is there. Who else do you think yeah. is there? Could could uh, that's uh, could Orson Welles be there? I think Muhammad Ali's probably there. Mm-hmm. I don't know when Orson Welles died. Yeah, Muhammad Ali. Um, Cronkite, Jimmy, Stewart. Jimmy Stewart died. Not Kissinger. There's no way Kissinger, no. Reagan, or Carter are there. No right. way. I'll say Stewart and Cronkite, Muhammad Ali, and Dom DeLuise. Yeah. Okay, so uh, all right, so let's let's watch. Good evening, everyone. This is Walter Cronkite bringing you a special television <laughs> tribute to George Burns. All right, so far. Oh God, not again. <laughs> oh, oh, well, well, huh. Take this opportunity to say what a thrill it is to be here on this dais this evening. That's an impression I can tell pretty good. Yeah, there he is. It certainly beats the House of Representatives. <laughs> what? Wow. I'm the greatest. Ain't nobody as bad as me. I'll yep. be George Holman. I'll be Joel Frazier. I'd be stunned to listen to that other old man. <laughs> For six years, I was the Secretary of State. I played the role of God. That was Jimmy Stewart in the cutaway, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so... Ali, Carter, Cronkite, and Kissinger were the impersonations, wow. and uh, Dom DeLuise, Ronald Reagan, Jimmy Stewart, and Orson Welles were there. That's crazy. Uh, and the reason why we did this is because um, this is an important moment in, I'd say, entertainment history because it is the first and only crossover of Charles Foster Kane and the Crime Globe. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> There weren't any others. <laughs> and that's how you play Who's Welker. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll have to fact check that because I'm, I'm not sure if that's, I don't think that's the only one. I'm with you, Nick. I think that there's probably some the other Crime ones. Globe wasn't in uh, the Transformers movie, right? When he played Unicron in that? Um, you know, I believe Unicron may have eaten the Crime Globe. So mm. that you're right. There's okay. in the director's cut. Um, also, right. the Crime Globe, it sounds like it causes the crime, doesn't it? It doesn't like well. That sounds like anti-crime. another episode right there. Maybe an origin episode. <laughs> yeah, it should be the anti-crime globe, shouldn't it? Yeah, and Globetron also sounds like the corporation that runs. The <laughs> yeah, Globetrotters and that was the franchise, poison, not the poison. So. Yeah, it should have been like Globetrot tonight or something like that. You know, like I don't know. Wow, uh, Caitlin, can we see a little uh, basketball uh, twirling? You They're think all could- soggy. <laughs> They're uh, they're really disgusting. So no, but I'll just hold one up for you so you can get like a real close up. Oh, that. it's that disgusting! Looks, it yeah. looks so good. Yeah, really. The text <laughs> the textures don't seem like they would gel well. You know, no, they don't. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen Jack. you eating. I haven't seen you, you eating them that much during this episode. I haven't seen like no. the spoon. No. And Rambo that. isn't even there trying to eat them. Your no, dog. you would go nuts for this. So. No. <laughs> Uh, I learned that I still love Super Globetrotters. George, did you learn anything? Uh, a little bit. Uh, 
the Harlem Globetrotters were pioneers, trendsetters, trailblazers, who had to be demonstratively superior just to be accepted as equals. And perhaps the greatest indication of their acceptance is that they too were allowed to star in a truly terrible cartoon. Because sometimes being allowed to be mediocre is how you know you've made it. And that's why I always say, the more you battle, it's twice the knowing. See, that's a lesson about everything that we produce on this channel. Being <laughs> me mediocre is, is just fine. We do a lot of mediocrity. It's straight <laughs> yeah. B minuses across the board. We could do like maybe two or three A pluses a year, but no, that's not how we roll. No, nope. mediocre across the board. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, guys, I'll tell you what, uh, speaking of all this Globetrotter, I'm going to do a little Globetrotter on my own down to the bathroom uh, there. Yeah. Uh, it's been a great you, episode, everybody. <laughs> yeah. If you heard, I was in Mexico City last week and uh, great trip, except for the last day. Did I tell you guys this? No? Yeah, we all heard. Okay. All graphic right. detail. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. And c congratulations to Caitlin, who is a tenured associate professor now at Ohio State. So congrats. Holy shit. Thank you. Holy shit. That's big. Nice work. Yeah. yeah. So basically what this means is I could write a scathing review of Turbo Teen and not lose my job. Like if the provost <laughs> was a huge Turbo Teen fan, like they still couldn't fire me, even if we had an academic. I mean, you would never do that anyway. I, I mean, mean, yeah. Because it's, it? it's a great show. It's a, yeah. I'll get you on are... your Tumblr now and write that review. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to, at some point, I want to rank our favorites and least favorites from this past, uh, I guess this past couple seasons of doing this, right? We've been yeah. doing it since what, like last, almost September. a year? Last September, yeah. Thanks. Well. So we should go through and just like rank our top three and our, and our bottom threes at yeah, some point. Yeah, I think a good time to do that would be September when they have the new cartoon specials, you know, that the very first one we did was when they showed all the the preview, the cartoon previews. Yeah. You should do that and, and rank all of them. It's a great idea. Yeah. Well, um, for, for all of us dribbling do-gooders, happy Saturday, everybody. <laughs> happy Saturday, everybody. Happy I got to go. Happy <laughs>